sewing cards. Today we are going to make a sewing card. So you see I have a card with a little dolphin picture on it and a blue piece of yarn is attached to the back. The tape is holding it in place. Let's pretend that the end of my yarn here is a dolphin. Sometimes when I'm sewing, my dolphin is under the water. That's underneath the card. Sometimes my dolphin needs to come up for air and it comes above the card. And the card is the surface of the water. That'll make it easier as we sew. Each hole is numbered and we're going to go in number order. So first I'm going to take my dolphin who's underwater and poke my dolphin up through hole number one. I'm going to gently pull until the string is pulled all the way through. Now my dolphin got a breath and is hungry again and is going under the water to look for more food. So I pull until the string is all the way pulled through. Now I'm going to repeat. So now I'm coming up on number three. So I come up, dolphin's getting air. Now dolphin dives back down into the water with a big splash. On number four. Then I come up through five, up, and then down on six. I pull it all the way. See, it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. So it makes that nice little pattern. Sometimes I find that I accidentally poke up twice and what happens is it creates a different stitch that wraps around the side. I don't want to keep going but I can take the stitch out by letting go of the dolphin and gently pulling on the side until the stitch comes loose. Then I just bring my dolphin back up and I remember to go down again. Going down to get fish swimming around under the water a little bit and then coming back up for air up down up down the stitch that we're learning to do today is called the running stitch this is the stitch you'll use when you're in first grade when you sew in our fiber studio You might find the end of your string gets kind of fuzzy or unraveled. You can twist, rub your fingers like this, and you can twist the end of the string back together, or you can get a scissors and snip a tiny bit of string off the end so that it's not frizzle frazzled at the end, and you can poke it through the holes of your Much card more easily. Hooray, I've finished. Now what do I do? I turn it to the back and I take a tiny piece of tape, tape it down, and I have my sewing card completed. If I have some time left over, I can color in my dolphin. I'm going to choose colored pencils. Because with colored pencils, I can get in the small areas of my dolphin. I'm taking my time, I'm coloring it completely, and going slowly. You can choose any color you like to color in your dolphin and your water. Sometimes I like to choose another color and put it on top of my first color. This is called layering. This can be 
um, very beautiful and it can make your art more interesting to look at. Well, that's it. I think I'm about finished with my sewing card. I can't wait to see you sew today.